Go. Bambi, that wimpy deer, holds its place in most of our hearts. Walt Disney's sixth full-length animated feature released in 1942 grabbed many, at least the few who saw it at the time, by the emotional antlers and even pissed off a few hunting enthusiasts in the process. Regardless, we all can agree that man shot first and this gem bucks the modern trend of disposable entertainment by lasting to this day. Just as endearing as ever, we give you 13 things that you probably didn't know about Bambi. Number 13. The original novel Bambi, A Life in the Woods from 1923, is not a work intended for children and Walt Disney toned down much of the material. By one description of the novel, it consists of 293 pages packed with blood and guts action, sexual conquest and betrayal. The forced characters include cutthroats and miscreants, including six murderers. Number 12. No matter how skilled the animator, the Disney cartoonist simply could not draw Bambi's father's antlers accurately. This was because of the very complicated perspectives required. To get round the problem, a plaster cast was made of some real antlers, which was then filmed at all angles. This footage was then rotoscoped into animation cells. Number 11. The look of the film was inspired by the work of Tyrus Wong, a Chinese animator whose sketches used softened backgrounds. This meant that the focus was squarely on the beautifully drawn animals. Number 10. One of the discarded characters from the original novel is Gobo. He is featured in the novel as Failing's twin brother and Bambi's first cousin. His death is a major plot point of the novel. Gobo was found by a man while wounded, nursed back to health, and released back into the wild. He concluded that men should not be feared and later willingly approaches a, a hunter who simply kills him. Number 9. The Disney Studios were walking a very precarious line financially and were constantly on the verge of bankruptcy. A studio strike and, of course, the outbreak of war, which deprived them of their lucrative European market, didn't help matters. Disney was able to secure another loan from the Bank of America, but when both Pinocchio and Fantasia failed at the box office, a lot was riding on Bambi to be a success. Number 8. Donnie Dunnigan kept his role of young Bambi quiet while in the Marines, as he feared he would pick up the nickname Bambi. He would have a remarkable career in the service, becoming the youngest drill instructor in its history, rising to the rank of major, and serving in the Vietnam War, where he would be decorated for valor and wounded three times. Number 7. Before he died, the last request of Frank Churchill, the composer who scored the music for this film, was that the film's song, Love is a Song, be dedicated to his wife Carolyn, who was Walt Disney's personal secretary from 1930 to 1934 after she married Frank. But Walt had to deny the request since the song had already gone to the publisher. Number 6. For the film's Platinum Edition DVD release in 2005, over 110,000 frames were cleaned up individually, requiring more than 9,600 hours of work. This was done from a copy of the original nitrate negative borrowed from the Library of Congress. Number 5. One key scene of the novel missing of the film is Bambi's realization that man is neither all-powerful nor immortal. It comes when the Prince of the Forest shows Bambi the corpse of a man shot by a fellow human. Number 4. The release gap between the film and its sequel, Bambi 2, was 64 years. It holds the world record for the longest span of time between two consecutive installments of a franchise. Number 3. According to animator and writer Mel Shaw, one reason for the production delays of the film was that Walt Disney and his staff kept having ideas about new scenes and characters, spending time developing them, and then had to discard them because they did not really fit the film. One example is a brief scene that was originally set to have Bambi step on an anthill and depict some disturbed dance. Number two. In December 2018, a Missourian poacher was sentenced to one year in prison for illegally killing deers for trophies. As part of his penalty, he was required to watch this movie once a month. Number one. In the 1969 animated short, Bambi Meets Godzilla, the sound at the end when Godzilla's foot falls is the final reverberating note of the Beatles song, A Day in the Life, from Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. There's your fucking Bamsie. <laughs> Do with it what you will. Fuck off.